seen kind of consistent growth throughout the years, but really, really exciting is actually right now, I think, in this sector, it's bucking the trend. Um, it's buoyant, there's really great projects out there, and we saw at this year's show in 2009 um, a 30% uplift in our visitor numbers. Uh, our exhibitors are reporting great new projects coming online, um, new business, they're happy, they're rebooking. It was a really good, buzzy show. Everything that we want, really. There can only be one winner, and this year it is. Proud of the partnership with both the Museums and Heritage Show and the M&H Awards of Excellence. We've worked together now for a number of years and jointly we offer between us an unrivaled platform for product suppliers and service providers alike via the exhibition, magazine and obviously online through mnhlive.com. The Museums and Heritage Awards are, are obviously a fantastic event. They um, happen every year at Church House in Westminster and they really are a chance for the most outstanding projects and, and those that have contributed to those projects from the cultural sector to pick up a highly coveted award. Obviously there's various different categories that these, can, these projects can um, go through and one of those categories is the Museums and Heritage Readers Award and every year we literally do get hundreds and hundreds of nominations of various projects that have been completed up and down the country but obviously, ultimately, there can only ever be one winner and I'm quite certain that these numbers will um, maximise again going forward for 2010. Because only by understanding our past, which also inform our present, can we shape our future. The primary resources, the primary sources are actually in our museums. That's where people will come looking for the truth. And that is why Awards like this are actually important, not for me, but to recognise the individuals, to recognise the power of one. I think the starting price to exhibit is actually really, really very low. Um, you can have a presence there for under £500. But you can't, you know, there aren't many opportunities that enable you to meet face-to-face -face with your dream client list for £500. I mean, there really aren't. The world's your oyster, obviously you can spend more than that, but that's the starting point. I think it's a great show, it's a great way to um, drum up new business. The media sectors are continuing to adapt at the moment to a change in, in playing fields. Um, the differentiation now between print, online and broadcast television are continuing to blur. And more and more users of content are wanting to be able to choose as and when they want to view content. One of the offerings we can now do through MNH TV is low cost broadcast quality film, um, which can be either a generic film or it can be a very high, um, highly effective marketing tool. And obviously, the beauty of this now it enables venues and service providers to show these films through multiple platforms. Obviously, as, as part of the Ten Alps group, um, we've already got a number of films um, that we've produced for the sector likes of Clitheroe Castle, Museum of Science and Industry, Middle Temple, um, Bowles Museum, and we can produce these films for as little as £2,000, which really does make us market leaders in our field.